Okay, right now the excitement around the solar eclipse is building. It's going to happen in less than 24 hours. However, health professionals warn that looking at the celestial event without proper gear can lead to permanent eye damage. 11 Alliance Erica Murphy has more on how to protect your eyes and what steps you should take if you're worried about them being damaged. Watching a solar eclipse is a rare event in the United States, and many people across the country are gearing up to see the moon block out the sun. But looking up at the sky during this time, even for a few seconds, can cause a lifetime of damage. The sun can actually burn the retina, the tissue in the back part of the eye, something known as solar retinopathy or eclipse blindness. Dr. Dyack says people often don't understand the dangers of looking at eclipses without proper eye gear. She suggests using eclipse glasses with an ISO certification. The glasses can be purchased online or at many stores for less than $5. Doctors say that you have to protect your eyes while you're viewing the solar eclipse because if you don't, you can end up in a chair just like the one I'm sitting in. Concerning symptoms would be changes to the vision, such as loss of central vision, distorted vision, changes to your color vision. Dyack says it could take several days for symptoms to appear after viewing the eclipse unprotected. She recommends seeing an eye doctor as soon as possible, as some damage can be irreversible. The solar eclipse is expected to start Monday at 145 for those in Metro Atlanta. Reporting from Cobb County, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News. All right, so here's the deal. Georgia will not be on the path to see the total eclipse. However, several locations around Metro Atlanta are holding viewing parties, including Atlantic Station, Georgia Gwinnett College, and some Metro Atlanta libraries as well. You are encouraged, like Erica pointed out, to bring your own safety glasses. You can also count on 11 Alive to bring you all the excitement from the viewing parties at Stone Mountain Park and TELUS Science Museum in Cartersville. Our live coverage begins tomorrow on 11 Alive News right here at noon. So